blue-ringed octopus, also known as the most deadly octopus in the world, lies in the kingdom Animalia, the phylum Mollusca, and the class Cephalpoda. It's similar related to squid, cuttlefish, and chamber natalius. The anatomy it shares that with other cephalopods is a beak with a modified radula, a poison gland for self-defense, eight arms with suckers, a mouth which is under the central part of their body, and the other parts of their um, of their anatomy that they share with just the phylum mollusks are the reproductive, digestive, respiratory, and circulatory system. Their circulatory system is different from the other classes um, because it's closed. And all the other classes, such as bivalves, polyplocophora, and gastropods have an op open circulatory system. What's really unique about this species is that it has their iridophores, which are blue rings located on their surface, for surface, which they are used to send warning when they flash for self-defense. This is why they're called the blue-ringed octopus. The way their iridophores work is when they feel they are being attacked, they darken their chromatophores, which are around the rings. To expose the rings, they relax their muscles inside the ring and contract the surrounding. They are small and flexible because they do not have a skeleton and they are 8 inches long. They tend to be a brownish cream color or a light yellowish color and they are fast swimmers. This species quite interesting is a reproductive process. They are gonocharistic. Females have 8 identical arms and the males have one that is different and it is, modif it is a modified arm that is inserted into the female's mantle cavity and it releases spermophores. Both the mother and the father die during the reproductive process, which makes this species so unique. The female dies from starvation, and the male dies from being attacked by the female. Once the eggs are laid, the female moves to them to a safe spot and sits them down. They do not have a free larval stage, which is rare for cephalopods. They develop in their mother's eggs, and they hatch, and their mother takes care of them for one to two months before she dies. They have no trouble hunting for food because they are quick swimmers and they have night vision. They tend to eat shrimp, fish, and hermit crabs. They are able to quickly inject poison into their prey, which makes the hunting process so efficient. The blue dots on the map show exactly where they are located. They are commonly found off the coast of Australia, on the Great Barrier Reef, in Japan. They usually live in reefs, rubble, tide pools, crevices, and sandy bottoms. They are hard to find due to their camouflaging skills and their small size. Their biggest predators are eels, whales, and birds.